Recently, I was in a slump, and I still kind of feel like I'm in the tail end of that. But each time I kind of go into these kind of darker moments, I kind of learn more about myself and kind of delve more into like why I do certain things. And I think it's kind of beneficial in some ways, because even though it sucks and it's not great to be in, coming out of it, I gain so much more perspective and learn more things. And the thing that I kind of learned this time is enjoyment over struggle. And this is an idea that I got from Taylor Allen from Deep Game. And he kind of talk, was talking about discipline and that you should, when you're trying to do things that you want to do, you should do it to enjoy it over struggling towards it. Because if you're going to struggle towards it, then you're not really going to want to do it and it's not going to be a lasting and sustainable change. And the mind's going to take the path of least resistance. It's going to take what's easier. It's going to kind of think and see, well, if I do this in the past, I've had um, negative experiences with that. So why would I do that when I can do this? And this kind of informs our habits and beliefs and all these experiences kind of add up and shape us. So for example, you know, if you've had trouble with relationships with having a partner or whether it's opposite sex or whatever you are, and you know you've had a lot of cutbacks from that you know that kind of reinforces this idea like oh maybe i'm not the type of person that can be in a relationship and then your brain kind of <clears throat> has these struggles with it it kind of creates this negative connotation with it so then it doesn't want to do it because it doesn't want to pay the consequence for that and why would it pay the consequence when it can just it can feel fulfilled by you know watching porn and getting lost in TV shows or anime or watching movies and that where it can kind of feel this sense of connection to other people without actually having to um, deal with it and overcome these struggles and just get it immediately in dopaminergic. But this doesn't really have a sort of fulfilling kind of um, sense to our lives. So a part of ourselves still feels discontent with this, but our brain does this because it's the easiest way to get the needs that we want. And this can be used in all sorts of ways, you know, like if you don't really have a career, if you don't have um, a job that you love, if you're not working on something that you want to work on, then, you know, and you've kind of had trouble and a lot of doubt with that. Well, video games, they provide you this structure, they provide you this journey, they provide you all the missions that you need to do, they provide you, you know, even the social aspect to it and the accomplishment. And your brain's kind of like, well, why would I do these hard kind of things if I can just do these things over here? And you may say, but I should be doing these things. I should be working out. I should be working on a career, building some sort of job for myself that's fulfilling rather than playing these video games. Yet these people still get stuck in these ruts and they continue day after day after day. And they kind of just feel even more helpless and even more shameful because they feel like they should be doing more they should be trying to reach their potential but these things fulfillment and potential are kind of vague and they don't really know what they're actually going to do and rather than try and explore this vagueness and try and get to the root of it they just keep going in the cycle of quick fixes and I'm not trying to hate on these people because I I'm victim to this as well I've been through this a lot and I still go through this a lot and the kind of way to change is to cultivate these directions and taking care of yourself, but make it more enjoyable rather than a struggle. Because if you're struggling in it, you're going to snap back to the things that give you what you want without you having to do much. And you know, you can feel that these things deep down are not fulfilling. They're not sustainable and they don't feel great to do, but we do them anyway, because, you know, as I said, our mind kind of creates these beliefs about ourselves, you know, I'm not a confident person, I'm not someone who can go out and do these sorts of things. And we have to create evidence to that, we have to prove to ourselves and prove to our minds and build this evidence like, oh, I'm actually doing these sorts of things, you know. And it's not that you're either a loser or a winner, these, these ideas, like I'm a confident person, I'm a not confident person, they're just labels, they're just kind of they're getting in the way of what you want because if you say you're a confident person, then when you feel unconfident, you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel terrible. And if you f think you're an unconfident person,
then you're not going to go out there to try and do the things that are actually going to build your confidence. And that's going to reinforce this kind of belief that, oh, I'm just going to stay back here. Um, I'm an uncompetent person, so why should I even try, you know? And that's why people get so stuck is because they get so clingy and attached to these identities and these kind of thoughts and beliefs. So change is also hard, you know, it's hard to kind of build momentum and build these habits that are going to be sustainable to you. But once you kind of get the momentum, you feel better for it. And, you know, all we can do is each day when we get up, you know, the start is the most important. It's like, what, what are you going to do? How are you going to start your day? And that sets the tone for the rest of your day, you know. And it may not be perfect as you go along, but if you just keep at it, if you keep doing these sorts of things, then you can build momentum and then you'll feel better for doing the things that are making you feel better about yourself. And you're like, oh, you know, it actually feels good to eat healthier. It actually feels good to work out more. I feel a lot better for meditating so much more. And then it just kind of builds this momentum that snowballs rather than just having this kind of whimsical idea like, Oh, I should be a supremely competent person and these people on social media, they're, they're working out like this and they look like this or I should look like that. And it's all external based and no wonder you're not motivated to get out and do these things because you're not willing to sacrifice for it because it's what other people want. It's what other people are expecting from you rather than what you actually value inside and what you want to bring to the world and what you feel like is your duty to do and give to other people and to help people out. And I took a break for a while from YouTube because I wasn't sure where I wanted to go, where I was going and who I wanted to be. And that was kind of the start of the slump. And then recently I realized like, I kind of feel a sense of duty because I've struggled through a lot of things and I don't want other people to go through those same sort of things feeling as alone or feeling as helpless as I did. And I just wanted to continue these videos so that maybe I could reach a couple of those people so then they wouldn't feel as bad as I have and they wouldn't feel as alone as I have. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.